What's going on you guys? I'm Alex Hoffer. Today, we're gonna make some corned beef. We're making it in the sous vide. Uh, we're using a poor cut of meat. We're using the spice packet that comes in the package with this meat. Um, and we're gonna turn something that otherwise probably shouldn't be any good into a tender, very edible piece of corned beef. Uh, now, I want you to know that this is part one of a two-part um, set of videos I'm gonna do. The next one we're gonna do um, in a week or so is going to be uh, braised, oven-braised corned beef with a better cut of meat with our own spices. Now, the reason I'm doing this today is because A, um, I just thought about it, uh, B, because I wanted to use the sous vide on a, on a, for a video on this channel because, and I will, I will be doing more sous vide things too, but the reason is because it's such a versatile tool to have in the kitchen. Um, it's also a more affordable tool than most people realize that it can be. Um, there's so many different levels of them that you can get. Um, there is one price for anybody or anybody's budget. I'm almost sure of that. Um, and it's something that once you use it once, you will love the fact that you have it. So, sous vide corned beef today. Braise corned beef in a week or so. Let's transport you from the studio down here to the kitchen upstairs with a little movie magic. So after you've taken your corned beef out of the package, rinsed it thoroughly and dried it with paper towels, now we're gonna go ahead and spread our little fun spice packet over the top of our corned beef. Um, you don't have to put this on all sides. It's gonna be in this bag cooking in the sous vide for 10 hours, so uh, this is, you don't need to worry about it being on every side of the meat. It's gonna work its way in. So there were a, a few different ways that I found to do this in sous vide, and one that popped up a lot at the first, at the beginning rather, was uh, doing this for 48 hours at 140 degrees. Um, but after doing a little more research, I found it uh, looked almost unanimous that the best way really to do this was actually at a higher temperature for shorter time. So we preheated our sous vide to 180 and we did it for 10 hours and we use the uh, displacement method to vacuum seal the bag. And I say vacuum seal in quotation fingers, you can't see those, but essentially what happened here, like I explained at the beginning of this video, is the water, uh, as you submerge the bag in, push the air out of the bag. We make sure we seal it up real nice, put our top on, and we're ready to go. We're also gonna be doing some cabbage and some potatoes, and I know you're thinking this doesn't look like cabbage or potatoes, it looks like bacon, Alex. Well, that's because it is, but what we're doing first is we're actually just rendering out the fat of a cheap package of bacon. Uh, we're gonna use this fat um, to help as a flavor enhancer for our cabbage uh, as we go forward. So we're gonna prep our cabbage, our carrots, and our potatoes. Uh, you're gonna wanna make sure you take this top layer of this head of cabbage off uh, before you uh, cut it right down the middle in half and take the core out. So after you've peeled uh, your carrots, I'm using two large carrots. You can use as many as you want, really, though. Uh, but then I'm just slicing it in uh, alternating diagonals. Uh, I'm doing this for both of them. For the taters, we're keeping it pretty simple. We're just gonna quarter them. So once in half, and once more in half for both uh, halves that you've halved, <laughs> and then you've got quarters, pretty simple. Now there really isn't a wrong way to slice up or you know, present your cabbage. I'm doing it in these small, thin slice wedges. Um, this is just so I can break it up a little easier when I put it in my cast iron, because that's how I'm gonna be cooking it. Um, I also ended up only using a half a head, because that was more than enough uh, to feed me and uh, the other person I was cooking for. Um, it's gonna look like a lot in your pan, but if you need more than a half, you can still cook it this way. Um, as you cook this down, it's going to uh, break down and reduce a bit, and it, it will all fit in that pan. Well, you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a minute. Next, get that bacon fat you rendered earlier back to a liquid state. Put your potatoes and carrots in, since these are gonna take longer than the cabbage, and we're gonna brown these up nicely on medium heat. Now we're gonna give these a quick hit of some crushed, uh, some fresh ground black pepper. You could add salt if you want, but there really is no need because we're gonna use some of the juice from the corned beef bag. Um, that's gonna provide enough salt, um, really for anything else extra. So there's really no need to add uh, much extra salt here, if at all. Once these have browned up and are just starting to get a little tender, we're gonna move them over to a baking sheet. Uh, we're also gonna preheat on our oven to 400 degrees as we're gonna finish cooking these in the oven. Don't turn your pan off though, because we're about to do that cabbage. 
Get yourself about two teaspoons of cold butter, put it in that pan that's still at medium heat, and let it melt down. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our cabbage. Now remember, we slice it in thin little wedges, but this is what this does is allow us to, when we put it in the pan, we can actually start pulling it apart a little bit, making it easier to get in. It's almost gonna look um, like shredded lettuce, essentially, at this point, and that's what you want. Go ahead and give this a little hit of uh, fresh ground black pepper and maybe a little bit of salt if you'd like now. The reason being that we've used most of the bacon fat rendering. There's gonna be some of that flavor left over, but the salt from that is gonna be not completely gone, but most of it will be gone. So this is now a time when you could use a little bit of uh, extra salt. Make sure you're giving it uh, some frequent stirs and mixes as it's cooking down and mixing with that butter. Your oven should be preheated now, or let's go ahead and put those potatoes and the carrots in at 400 degrees, and this should take about 15 minutes to completely cook, but ultimately you want them to be fork tender. So we'll get to the corned beef in just a moment, but we've taken it out of the water bath after the 10 hour cook. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use some of the leftover juice from that bag and pour it right into our cabbage, reduce the heat down to a low medium and simmer this for about 10 to 15 minutes. So as is the case with any of the cooked sous vide, it never looks very good when it comes out of the bag, but we're hitting this with just a little bit of a blowtorch. Unfortunately, the no fat thing really kind of sucks uh, for this because really what we wanted to do was blowtorch the fat on top, get that golden brown and have it melt down. As is the case with any meat, uh, when you can, make sure you slice across the grain or against the grain, just helps for a better chew. I tell you what, man, this thing was super duper tender. Plate it all up, and don't be afraid to use some of the juice from your cabbage pan uh, to drip all over this deliciousness. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for shopping by the channel. We'll see you next time.